Lee Dixon, first season as captain this season. Uh, what's it been like to, to lead the Saints? Oh, it's been awesome. It's been a privilege. Uh, you know, I said at the start of the season, it was a, when I was asked, I was really looking forward to it. It's been a topsy-turvy season, um, a few ups and downs, but in general I've enjoyed it and hopefully I can carry on doing it the following year. How have you found balancing your time between obviously managing your game as a player and also managing the game in terms of being the captain? I think as a scrum half I try and manage everything anyway so I'm always screaming and shouting so it's quite it's quite an easy transition but um, I think sometimes it's one of them things where the heat of the moment gets and you've got to really calm down and think bigger picture rather than oh, I want to do this I want to do that so I think for me the learning was at the start of the season maybe I was playing too much of a scrum half rather than thinking right yes I'm a scrum half I want to tap and go but I probably need to think about the bigger picture take the points kick to the corner and things like that. And just looking back on, on the season that's just gone from a Saints perspective, um, what would be your assessment of the season? Um, I think, it's, as I said, it's been a topsy-turvy season. I think it's been frustrating for everyone, players, staff, fans. Um, we didn't start the season very well, which was, which was disappointing. You know, the past seasons we've started very well. And we got ourselves into you know, a bit of a, a fight, but as I said, we, we, we came out the back of that. We won five out of seven while the international periods were on, which is good, you know, when you lose some of your world-class players. Um, and then we've just come up short at the end. You know, if, if we win at the weekend, we finish fifth. You know, it's not where we want to be. We want to be in the top four, as every club does. But to finish fifth of how we started, I think, um, is a little bit of a positive. And obviously now there's just one game left of the season against Gloucester at Kingsholm on Saturday. It's going to be a big match. Oh, it's going to be huge. It's everything to play for. You know, we need to win. We have to win to, play, to stay in the top, top six and be in Europe next year. And that's what this club wants to be. It's an ambition club. And if we're not, it's, it's, it's an even more of a bigger dis um, disappointment. But I think... This weekend we've just got to go down and express ourselves and, and, and play rugby, you know, hopefully the sun will be shining and we can get out there and, and throw the ball around. And obviously with Gloucester, um, a seventh place finish in the Aviva Premiership is still very much a target for them, bearing in mind that Harlequins are in the Challenge Cup final. So does that add some extra spice, obviously with uh, Northampton still looking to get that top six finish? Oh yeah, both teams have got everything to play for. You know, they're at home as well. They won't want to go out at home with a disappointed season to get in front of their uh, fans. So we know they'll be coming all guns blazing and we've got to go down and match that.